Welcome to Art for Advent. On this second Sunday in Advent, we are considering a painting of the Annunciation by the Italian Renaissance artist Fra Filippo Lippi. The angel Gabriel announces to the Virgin Mary that she will be the vessel through whom the divine will become a human. The mystery of this incarnation is the theological focus of Lippi's painting. A Carmelite friar, Fra Lippi was one of the leading Florentine painters of the first half of the 15th century. Painted approximately a decade after the Annunciation by Fra Angelico that we looked at last week, Lippi's depiction of the same subject is more down to earth. Situated in a simple domestic space, Lippi's figures have more three-dimensional volume. However, the naturalism of Lippi's art disguises the aesthetic complexity and theological significance of his method. The kneeling angel holds a lily. This flower is a symbol of the Virgin's purity. Mary holds a book. Prefiguring her role as the mother of Christ, Mary embraces this book like a mother might coddle an infant. This might also be a reference to the Bible's description of Christ as the Word of God become flesh. Above Gabriel, a dove symbolizing the Holy Spirit descends towards Mary. The rays of divine light that pass behind the column symbolize how God is breaking through the division between heaven and earth. Gabriel and Mary bow towards each other. They are visually united through their mirroring poses. The curve of their forms is reinforced by the actual shape of the panel. Although the panel's format was probably determined by the image's original location, Lippi has successfully employed his painting's pictorial and material elements to advance a spiritual proposition concerning the meaning of the Incarnation. Lippi's Annunciation focuses on the Incarnation as the Spirit of God taking on human flesh. The word Incarnation shares a common root with the word carnal. Carnal means something relating to the body or to flesh. To incarnate is to become flesh. It means to embody a material or physical form. If Christ's incarnation is the immaterial and invisible divinity taking on physical and material form, Lippi's temper on panel painting gives us theological mystery, visual form. Lippi's art beautifully visualizes the incarnation because he skillfully combined the pictorial and material elements of his painting. The image's pictorial space is organized by means of perspective. Perspective was a technique used by Renaissance artists to create the visual illusion of spatial depth within a picture. This illusion of spatial depth is created in part through the use of diagonal lines which appear to recede towards a vanishing point. In Lippi's painting, we can trace these lines of perspective along the window at the left and the bench at the right. As a part of the illusion of the picture's space, these lines of perspective move from the foreground to the background. However, this painting is actually a flat panel. On that flat surface, these lines in fact lean from the sides towards the center. Within Lippi's composition, these lines move from the painting's edges towards the center. The organization of Lippi's space urges Gabriel and Mary towards each other. Lippi's aesthetic of spiritual immediacy visualizes the Annunciation as God's act of drawing closer to humanity. This devotional painting, in both its iconography and composition, serves the purpose of drawing the viewer closer to God. Next Advent Sunday, we will look at an Annunciation by Sandra Botticelli in which he explores what it means for Mary and for us to be blessed.